Greetings, Goji Geeks. I'm currently representing my uh, hometown high school, which I actually never ended up going to because I've been everywhere. But um, yeah, go Clarkston Bantams, Clarkston, Washington. Let's go. Love the LC Valley. We were actually just there visiting, well, my hometown region, which is Clarkston, Washington slash Lewiston, Idaho. It's a bit of a sketchy place, but I love it. It'll always be home in my heart. I'm currently now in Montana visiting other family. I'm having a fantastic time. And as we all know, we all just came back from G-Fest. Um, G-Fest 2022 show was incredible, and I've never seen the other G-Fest, so I don't really have a reference point. But I've seen the photos, I've seen the videos, I've seen the excitement from people. And I gotta say, it was a knockout show in every possible way. I, I really don't have complaints. Um, it was fantastic. I did panels. I ran a table for my business, right? My book business. I got to meet all my online friends, a, a good amount of subscribers and just followers in general who are like family to me. And I, I got to meet everybody. And we're talking about dozens and dozens and dozens of people. They came up to my table. They talked to me after the panels. I got to talk to parents and reluctant spouses of attendees. I got to talk to everybody. And it was just such a wonderful experience getting to see people in person, shake their hand, and talk to them. They asked me all kinds of questions too. It wasn't just, hey, what got you into Godzilla? In fact, I didn't really get asked that question much at all. I was really asked a lot about my books, which funny story, um, I sold all my books. So that is a serious blessing because I did not, did not want to take those things back with me. And it was a gamble. And that's what entrepreneurship is, which I, I consider running a, a small business, right? Sole proprietor business like this. It's a gamble, it's an entrepreneurship. And I had all of these books sent to David Nunez, who is one of the staffers at G-Fest, and he's very kind enough to hold all my stuff in storage for me until I got over there and then bring it to the hotel. By the way, the hotel's fantastic. The Hyatt Regency, swanky swank, I like it. Ah, it was too good of a hotel for me. I'm used to like super eights, but you know, <laughs> sometimes, sometimes it's good to indulge a little and enjoy that. Um, so that was wonderful experience, but he brought all my books over for me. And then I sold all 65 books, and we're talking 35 of Daughter Darkness, which has now given me a total sale count of that book of like over 120 books. The average self-published book sells about 250 copies, and we've sold over 120, which is pretty good. And then the other 30 books were then the supplementary material that goes with it, slash my standalone poetry collection. Fantastic. I loved it. And, and it wasn't just like obligatory buys either. It was people interested, curious. Hey, what's your book about? Hey, I know you from YouTube. Hey, you're the girl who whatever. And yeah, I, I'm the girl who whatever. I whatever everywhere. Um, it was just so cool to talk to them and see their eyes light up when I would just explain stuff. Um, we had friends, family, friends of friends, family of family, all kinds of people buy these books and ask about them. And even the ones who didn't buy anything, I could tell they're like, yeah, I'm saving this for later, which thank you. I could, I will never turn away a reader. Okay. Never. Um, which it was amazing. And of course I was meeting dozens and dozens and dozens of people. I lost count of how many people I took pictures with that slideshow I did on this channel. doesn't account for most of it. Frankly, I probably made some people mad by not including their photos, but it's like, I can't keep track of it. I'm sorry. If I didn't include you, I promise it wasn't intentional. I promise. Like, whoever you are, I promise, but anyway, if you're missing from the slideshow, like, please bear in mind, this was a very overwhelming, but in, in a beautiful way, an overwhelming experience. I actually had to retreat to my room and just breathe a little bit. I was actually, it was like day three, and I had my lunch, I got a little pizzilla, and I was going back to my room, and um, I kept getting stopped by people. And I'm like, I kind of want to eat, but I also kind of want to talk to you because you want to talk to me. So it's like this gamble of uh, feeding myself or feeding my career. One of the funny things was that on day one, when I was setting up my table, uh, I looked around at all the other vendors and felt really bad about myself. I'm like, nobody even knows what this stuff is. Nobody knows who I am really, at least the vendors. I mean, I figured at least some of the attendees would know that I'm like the goji geek or whatever. But like my Alyssa Charpentier, like author persona, I didn't think anyone would care about that. And so I'm setting up my table and I'm literally praying, God, what am I doing here? I look like a fool. I don't belong here. This stuff doesn't belong here. I mean, I had a crisis moment, all right? It was it was a mini crisis. Like, do I really have to bring all of this back with me or give it away or, you know, suffer with all this stuff because I went out on a limb? And no, I, I truly believe if you step out in faith, amazing things are gonna happen. Maybe not all the time, but for me, this was 
this was beautiful. It was just such a good experience. Not only did I not have to bring stuff back, I didn't have to bring anything book-wise back. I have some art and some CDs, but I consider my table sold out, and so did everyone else, so we sold out, and that's great, and just the, the love from everybody was not expected. As you saw in my prediction video I made before I came to G-Fest, I keep my numbers very low. Expectations abysmal, okay? Because if you're down on this level, right, the bar is above your head. You can always reach higher. But if you set your expectations too high, well, I wasn't expecting to sell everything, so yeah. Um, and I didn't have to discount anything either. Everything's the same price. I guess I had reasonable prices. I tried. I tried to, like, make a profit and also not screw people over with my prices. And it looks like it went well. So what I learned from G-Fest was I do have friends. I do have great friends in the Godzilla fan base and the, the online community, and those friends do count for something. I got to meet a lot of wonderful friends, and that felt really good. Especially to see them interested not only in my Godzilla work, and not only just my author work, but just me as a person, which is not something I'm used to. Right? I was the outcast kid in high school. I'm still an outcast in general life. Um, I'm a little abrasive, ever so slightly controversial. <laughs> But I try to keep that stuff, you know, I try to be useful in that, and so I, I think writing is a good outlet for that, and I think my YouTube channel as well, even using Godzilla as a way to channel my opinions and help people in that, that kind of geeky way, you know, using a geeky icon to connect with people on a spiritual, humanitarian level, right? I'm not Mother Teresa or anything, but I feel like the work I do on this channel, as I've said before, it has some value, and so to see other people affirm that really felt good. So, the Goji Geek is very happy. I was so happy to meet everyone. Um, and now I'm gonna show you some of the things I got. Alright, and here is the haul. It's looking pretty nifty. I like all the stuff I got here. It's a good little bundle. Um, so starting over here, we have some awesome fan art I got from my friend Brendan Morley. He made this, and he does a really good job capturing, like, literal... <laughs> Literally from the photo, I and mean, he does a really good job of just recreating things. So this is me in my kimono, and I have my kimono shot, and it's me with 2000's Godzilla. Awesome, I love it, it's really cool. And also, what's cool is he made me this fan poster for Daughter Darkness. Woo! I love art for my books. Guys, if you ever want to make me happy, just make me art. That is all. <laughs> so I got this too. Absolutely love that. It's beautiful. And then he also sent this um, cosplay where he is portraying himself as Twilight. It's like the male version of Twilight. There's a really good job with the Photoshop there, but this is um, Sun Darkness. It doesn't have quite the same ring as Daughter Darkness, but because I'm stupid and I didn't put an of in my title, which was intentional, by the way, I wanted it to be dumb because Daughter Darkness has a nice flow. I like dumb. I like good syllable counts, all right? Words have to flow well. Sentences should flow well. I'm a writer, let me alone. But he got his little Sun Darkness cosplay there. I also got this lovely art piece from Bob Eagleton. Oh, he put my little name on there too. It's cute. Thank you, Bob. I love Bob's art. It's such a unique style. It's really stand out. As soon as you see Bob's art, you know it's Bob's art. Um, it's very classy. And I don't know how to describe it. I'm not an art person, but I love Bob's art. It's from my childhood as well. Speaking of from my childhood, we have a comic here from Matt Frank I got. Apparently it's a rare comic. Um, which is cool. So, hey, God's the Rulers of Earth. Awesome. Another artist, so we got that. And then I got this here from a fellow book vendor. It was cool to see fellow authors there. This is Carter Allen's Ecteron. It's based on the Greek mythology. A little bit, or at least the, the character here is, which I like. And apparently the, the name of the character is from a typo. Writers, typos sometimes are actually advantageous. So this is like a comic selection of Carter Allen's. I like it. I like to support indie authors. I'll be reading that and probably doing a review. Also from authors, I have uh, Nathan Marchand and a few other authors here who did Destroyer. This is a really good novella. Um, it's like a military fiction about a cyborg robot that goes wild. Huh. Sounds a little bit like Kiryu. Cool. But I enjoy it. It's a good military fiction. Their writing is superb, so I'm really enjoying that. This beautiful art piece here. Uh, I don't know how she does this. I don't know how, how artists do it. I'm not an artist, but Serenity Wiatrowski. I hope I'm saying her name right. She is so sweet, and she made me this beautiful Hedora art piece. I'm really happy with it because, of course, I am. It's Hedora. But, guys, again, if you want to make me happy, art of any kind. And she did a superb job on this. Please follow her social medias. She's amazing. Um, I also got this uh, Space Music CD. So they were advertising it as awesome space music. And I heard some of it, and you know what? I'm into awesome space music. So this uh, Mythical Pursuit here was advertised as being similar to Tangerine Dream. Hey, you you advertise as Tangerine Dream, you got me. So, 
We have some other books here by Nathan Marchand, my author friend, including Discovering Faith Through Fandom, which is devotional for Christians who are into geeky stuff like me. Perfect. That is the ideal match. Oh, and this is another art piece by Brendan. Happy Kaiju family. That's me, Brendan, and Nicholas Latimer. Super cute. Additionally, I got this from Donnie. This was not part of my haul, but Donnie gave this to me. This is his sophomore full-length poetry collection, Feats of Alchemy. Please check out Donnie Winter's Carbon Footprint. It is the loveliest piece of poetry, uh, collection of poetry, rather, I've ever read. And I will be reading that on the plane because I've got to catch up with Donnie's wonderful work. Additionally, I have some Japanese Giants magazines, which my friend Ed Gotsicheski contributed to. I hope I can call you a friend, Ed. Ed and Norman, Norman England, they're uh, my author people. I think they're really cool. I got to meet Ed at G-Fest, in fact. Um, and I, I just really respect them for what they've contributed to the fandom and their writing is superb. Speaking of superb writing, I've got a lot of great writers here. And of course, I had to get a Godzilla shirt because who is not going to get a Godzilla shirt at G-Fest? My super sweet friend Jonathan, oh geez, I hope I say this right, Crochetti, Crochetti, I'm so sorry man, he made me this beautiful custom Godzilla NFL player. I'm not a football fan, but I, I am a fan of Jonathan and his work, and I am definitely a fan of Godzilla, so I am therefore a fan of this. Alright, the final stuff here, we have all this awesome art from Nicholas Latimer, aka GojiFan1998. He is always making fan art for his friends. It's so thoughtful, and he does a wonderful job. I mean, look at these Gigans. These are standout Gigans. This, these Gigans, I mean, he's got the original here, he's got Chainsaw. He's got me as a mermaid. I never thought someone would draw me as a mermaid, but there we have it. Nick has got me covered. Burning Godzilla, one of my favorite designs. Honestly, I think it is my favorite design if I had to settle for one. Well, and then look, we have Kaiju Noir, we have Andres Perez, and we have me and Nick. That's super cute. Look at these beam fights. Nick does a standout job with everything. I love his work. It's always exciting. Got Brendan there, me. <laughs> he, he drew my hair super fluffy there. I like it. Um, so yeah, all of this is great. Thank you so much, Nick. You are always one of the best fans and one of the best friends in this Godzilla fan base. So thank you. It does not go unappreciated. All right, that's all she wrote, which I won't be saying about my books because I got a sequel coming out for you all soon. <laughs> sequel to The Mermaid and Daughter Darkness this fall, baby. <whistles> anyway, I'm gonna stop whistling and being an idiot. I'm gonna go eat some taco time because I gotta get in that American food before I go back and resume my normal sad eating habits. <laughs> so, I will see you all soon. Look forward to some uh, travel videos and hometown stuff. I gotta get out of my system, all right? I'm back in the States for the first time in a year. Wow. Um, yeah, wow. <laughs> okay, so, Bear with me, I promise we'll get back on track with the Godzilla content, but I've got some fun little travel videos for you. You're going to see my hometown in one of them. Try not to judge me, okay? It's not that exciting, but it is home, so it's exciting to me. All right, everyone, may the geek be with you. Take care, and I cannot wait to see you all soon at the next G-Fest. Because every day, we get closer to the next G-Fest. <laughs>